Hi, my name is Leah Kiana, and you're tuned in to Lennox and Parker. Today, we have a very hot topic. New movie released on Amazon Prime for Tyler Perry's Divorce in the Black. Just want to give you my opinion on my movie review on Tyler Perry's Divorce in the Black. I do want to say the first 10 minutes of the, of the movie, the opening scene, is jaw dropping. My jaw was to the floor and I found it very hard to pick it back up. <laughs> but regardless, the opening scenes were crazy. It very much so was Tyler Perry coded with the Tyler Perry theatrics that we always see in most movies. These theatrics were dramatic. I'm not even gonna lie. I was very shocked and I was so confused on where the movie was gonna lead us with that being the opening scene. Um, but I do feel like the movie sped up, like started really fast to slow down completely. So the beginning sped us up throughout the story and slowed us down as we continued to go through it. Um, the storyline itself did get a chance to progress throughout the movie, which I do feel like is a part, it's worth kind of sticking around even after the first <laughs> few minutes of the movie. Lee. Tyler Perry did a great job with the cast. The cast was doing their thing. Megan Good played the lead role as the woman in the marriage and Corey Hardick played her husband. Corey did his thing on this movie. You know when, when somebody plays their evil role too well and makes you not like them as a person? That's definitely what Corey did for me in this movie. He played his role so well in this movie to the point where I was like, are you sure this is not how you really act? Because he definitely was hitting all the points. <laughs> But Megan Good, Corey Hardrick, and Richard Lawson and Debbie Morgan played as Megan Good's parents within the movie. They were church going, a loving family throughout the movie. I think they did a phenomenal job with their roles as well. Um, so, you know, Tyler Perry always has a great cast. So the cast was definitely there. They definitely helped support that movie. The movie itself, the storyline, it was a lot going on. It was a lot. It was very dramatic. Um, it was confusing to say in the beginning. As you stick around through the movie, you do kind of understand a little more why certain things are happening and what to expect next. But I will say that although it was so much dramatics and theatrics throughout the movie, Tyler Perry did hit on a lot of tough topics. A lot of tough topics that we don't really seem to always bring up within the black community and in other communities. They touched on domestic violence. They touched on generational trauma and how that can affect you in your life as you progress and they even spoke about how your family and upbringing can affect your relationship and marriage and i think it's so important to talk about these things because women always try to be the strong person in the story and stick around to see the potential in a good man and this particular movie showed you exactly why you shouldn't do that i do believe within the coming up story of her getting out of the divorce in black or, or without losing anything in the black. Um, I do believe that they should have kind of gave her a little more of an empowering story where she kind of built on herself and got back to the roots of who she is as a person instead of kind of just throwing her into another man's arm. But it definitely threw her into another man's arm to keep it pushing, but it did help the story progress. It was just a lot, a lot of drama, a lot of comedy. Um, I feel like the story could have been told in different ways, but I guess that's what kind of, that's what we keep coming back and loving Tyler Perry for. My jaw was to the floor. The whole first seven, eight minutes of the movie, the opening scene, wild. And I was so confused on why that was the opening scene, but you end up figuring it out throughout the story, okay? And if you have any extra time and if you have access to Amazon Prime, you definitely should check out Tyler Perry's Divorce in the Black. It is something interesting to watch. Stick around, watch the movie. I don't personally think it was one of Tyler Perry's best movies, but if you're somebody who loves Tyler Perry drama, you love the comedy that Tyler Perry brings to the screen, then I definitely think this is maybe a movie for you to watch. But hey, to each his own, don't knock it till you try it and make sure you go watch it. Hope to see you all again next week on our next hot topic for our top five movies and music here at Lennox and Parker. And my name's Leah Kiana and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!